guys welcome back to the Paxton Creek garden on another exciting episode talking about organic insecticides mainly for use in your eggplants and the tomato garden so let's get started so here is the situation that I am in uh, eggplant leaves are getting deformed and uh, they are being chewed on and uh, you know the plants aren't growing well they are not producing that much although they, they'll, they will be producing later they are not yet ready to produce but I'm just concerned that uh, you know my eggplant won't survive because I'm seeing this potato beetle on them um, Colorado potato beetle that's what it's called uh, and it starts chewing on your eggplants from the day one and this is the another one Japanese beetle that I caught uh, red-handed <laughs> on my eggplant and this other flea beetle that creates little tiny holes and it becomes a real problem after it starts to grow and here is the Japanese beetle that I caught red handed and killed <laughs> sorry for the graphics but I just wanted to show you that that was the main problem in my garden um, I, I believe because I caught it so here is the monetary spinosod um, insecticide that we're gonna use today so here is some more information on spinosoid as uh, it is a natural substance made by a soil bacterium that can be toxic to insects it can kill number of insects and here is the recipe four tablespoon per gallon so here is uh, my gallon uh, sprayer and I have already filled it with water so uh, but before we uh, before I uh, put uh, this uh, spinosoid into my uh, container sprayer I'll just show you what it can control and first we'll look at how much to add in a gallon of water there you see four tablespoon uh, I showed you before and we see it again here and just make sure you follow the direction and the label um, that way you don't harm yourself or your plants or your pets so in, in, uh, generally spinosoid isn't that much of a danger to human or pets once it's dry so it is good for organic use and here we're gonna use it on eggplant and tomatoes so you can see what it can control Colorado beetle European war, uh, corn or flea beetle leaf miner trips everything and you are only allowed to use you should only allow use six times in your season six times in your season you don't want to do it every other week or so so here I'm gonna take it four tablespoon per gallon uh, if you drop a little more don't worry about it it's a, again it's an organic substance uh, make sure your pets are away uh, while you're spraying uh, it, although it is non-toxic you just want to be careful and also make sure you spray this in the late evening when bees are uh, not bees are not active in your garden and other pollinators as well uh, it is uh, it is shown in the label that it, it can be toxic to bees when it is wet so uh, be careful spray it in the late evening that way they are gone not active in your garden and you just kill the harmful insects not the beneficial insects so the sprayer is almost ready and make sure you shake it well and mix it well and then you spray here is the my eggplant that we're gonna spray although I'm gonna spray on all but I'll just show you here for example and you wanna make sure you cover top and bottom leaf areas you know you don't wanna just spray on the top because generally this uh, leaf chewing insects are hiding in the underside of your leaves of the plant leaves so you wanna make sure you cover the both sides uh, and be careful not to spray these insecticides or any kind of other dusting powders you might use uh, while there, the conditions are windy or there is a rain predicted within a day or so uh, that way if you give uh, this uh, spray or dusting powders a um, day or two to stay on your plants then they will be more uh, beneficial than compared to you spraying on it now and then in an hour or two there will be a rain or a day later there will be the rain because then bugs will be back again and you will have to spray the insecticides again and you know you won't 
have as much control as you would have it if you would uh, spray it during the when weather is calm no storms are predicted no rain is predicted you know wind is wind is pretty slow you know it's it's not as much windy uh, because with wind what can happen is uh, your insecticide spray can go uh, away from the point that you are trying to spray and all that kind of thing so um, make sure conditions are perfect for your spray again spray it in a late evening cover top and bottom both sides of your leaves and spray generously this is again organic uh, recipe so uh, you won't harm anything uh, and again you only want to spray six times during the season again follow the direction on the label so this eggplant is spread well and hopefully we'll have we'll see um, them their health improving so here is the another thing in tomatoes tomatoes i'm seeing these bugs and then sooner or later we'll also see um, these tomato hornworms you know they could be ugly looking <laughs> they, and uh, they they eat tomato plants last year they eat at almost one of my plants um, so you can spray, spray spinach soil on them as well, uh, on tomatoes. That will kill caterpillars, tomato hornworms, and other uh, small insects that you will see in tomatoes. There are real tiny red ones that I so showed you earlier in the video. So that will take care of them. So that is it folks for today's video. And we will see you in the next video. Stay tuned um, for another episode and uh, have a happy gardening thank you please like share and subscribe our channel for more exciting videos like this and stay informed